Tinglu has been one of those Pokemon that are performing better in Ubers rather than OU, just like Iron Tread. Tinglu in the beginning of the format looked like a clear top 10 Pokemon, but as it stands, it falls way below. Before we continue to talk about why Tinglu is amazing in Ubers, we have to understand the reason why it has fallen so much in OU. Tinglu was regarded as the best wall in the format for a long period of time, primarily because of its ability to wall a couple key Pokemon like Chiyu early on in the format and Espathra prior to them getting banned. Because of its bulk, it would often come in and whirlwind them out and shift the momentum back to its side. But since the bans of those Pokemon have occurred, Tinglu has struggled to stay upright as the dominant Pokemon it once was in OU, primarily because it was regarded as too passive with its moveset in OU and new threats like Bax Calibur and Walking Wake making waves in the competitive scene. In Ubers, however, Tinglu's passivity becomes its most vital strength when facing top tier threats. It's there where its passive nature can shine most against threats like Chiyu once again, and its hazard setting ability becomes probably the, its most important factor. While yes, Pokemon like Great Tusk are still relevant and carry rocks at times, because of its one dimensional defensive nature against the tier's most premier threats, it's most optimal to instead utilize its wall breaking capabilities quite opposite to its role in OU. Now and better than ever, Tinglu takes up that position as a hazard monster. Monster, oftentimes for fellow Ubu Pokemon like Maridon or Koridon who appreciate the rocks for a chance to pick off opponents even better. With Tinglu's massive bulk, it usually guarantees those rocks or spikes will be up and as a result, it gives a huge advantage to those box art legendary. Tinglu provides other great utility with its momentum stopping whirlwind against substitute monsters of the likes like Fluttermane or Baxcalibur. Combine or Agility Maridon also have a tough time navigating against whirlwind Tinglu as its bulk oftentimes means it will not faint after one attack. Tinglu also benefits from Goldengo not being prevalent in Ubers as much in OU, which is actually one of the main reasons why its whirlwind set is actually being more used compared to OU, because in OU, Goldengo is way more prevalent and its ability of good as gold usually stops Tinglu's tracks of whirlwinding, essentially meaning till Goldengo is gone, Tinglu will be only be able to use 3 moves effectively without it being blocked. And at this moment, I would also like to take a minute and ask for you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying my content. We are on the road to 7k subscribers, and I would love to have your guys' continual support. This channel is really dedicated to making the best Pokemon content out there, and I really appreciate your guys' support for it to be the best it can. Anyways, back to the video. With its defensive capabilities in the tier still asserting some of its similar OU role and takes up that max special defense investment to help maximize its defensive capabilities against specially attacking offensive Pokemon, Tinglu's terrestrialization powers have been taken to another level, with it having 4 competitive options. Terra Steel allows you to check Flutter Main, Iron Bundle, and Choice Chien Pao, with it also offering great defensive anchor to your team, something dark and ground, while not the best type combo, struggled to provide at times. Terra Ghost allows for the immunity against vital fighting types like to Great Tusk, Coridon, or Iron Valiant, and Terra Fairy allows for a better check for its Dragon type moves and offers great defensive pivot ability alongside its ability to stall Maridon and its Choice's variation even better. Terra Fire has popped up somewhat as a 1v1 stall versus Chiyu and resists fairy type coverage. However, Maridon becomes most powerful yet against this Pokemon with Electro Drift becoming a fatal move. Tinglu in the OU tier has had a rocky ride, but in Ubers it has been able to establish as a clear cut defensive pivot monster, almost becoming a must for every team for a hyper offensive advantage. Comment down below what you think, join the discord, and if you guys want to support even further, join the channel and become a member today.